Okay, guys, let's grab some dumbbells for the next bunch of exercises. Now, the other thing I want you guys to do is grab yourselves either a flat bench or a multi-fold mat um, to create some elevation for these exercises. Working some push-ups for this exercise and we're getting some assistance from the bench just to create a little bit of elevation and this will make the push-up fairly easy. Just make sure you're cautious enough not to tip the bench over. Your turn to try this one. bench squat or bench get up if you like for this exercise so you can see i'm starting with feet parallel shoulder width and i'm lifting right up standing and dropping back down into that squat but i'm sitting on the bench as i do it and then all i'm doing is just lifting straight back up so it's actually giving you a moment's rest when you're seated on the bench your turn to try this one Using the tip of the bench for some triceps dips for this exercise. Now you can see I'm doing it with straight legs so that I can't cheat. And you've just got to make sure that your butt stays really close to your hand. We don't want to cause any excess pressure in the rotator cuffs. Your turn to try this one. Dumbbell chest press for this exercise. So you want to make sure you start off with your lower back pinned right up against the bench. So you want to make sure it doesn't arch up. And then you're going to bring your arms down nice and wide. Elbow to elbow should be a straight line. And then you're going to press up in a nice vertical thrust. Very important to have control over your movement. Your turn to try it. Let's go.
pull over from a supine position for this one. So you can see I've got an eyelet grip going as far as holding the dumbbells concerned. And then I'm keeping my arms relatively soft straight to really emphasize on the triceps. Now, if you bend your arms a little bit more, it's going to give you more emphasis on your chest. So there is a variation. Your turn to try it. Just fly for this exercise. So we're going to lie down on the bench with our lower back pinned right up against the bench. Now you want to make sure you're getting good foot support from this before you get started. And then we're going to open wide. Now you want to make sure you don't exceed the T line when you bring the um, fly to the down position. And then you want to push up with soft straight arms and bring those dumbbells together right at the top. Your turn to try it.
Romanian deadlifts for this one, guys. So making sure your feet are parallel and at shoulder width, and your knees are right over the, the top of it, so it's nicely supported. Um, you're holding the dumbbells up like it's a barbell, and we're dropping straight down with this one. You want to push back with your bum to make sure your spine's remaining nice and tight and in a neutral position. Your turn to try this one. Single arm row, nicely supported by the bench for this one. So very important, just release the dumbbell until your arm's nice and straight. And then when you pull it up, you want to pull towards your rib cage with your elbows tucked in. Keep your wrists nice and straight and keep your spine neutral as well. Both sides, your turn.
seated shoulder press. Now, it's really important to start this one with a very solid base. So you want to make sure you've got ample weight on your feet. You've got to make sure that your legs are apart enough so that they're nicely supported. And then you want to push up and really maintain your spine. Keep neutral spine throughout this. Um, push up with your hands until you've got the dumbbells all the way up with soft straight elbows and then return them with your elbows dropping by your side. Your turn to try this one. a thruster for this exercise. So this is the traditional version, the bilateral version. So you can see uh, feet are about shoulder width, knees are right on top of it, so we're not pushing the knees out or in. Uh, the elbows are dropping right to the top of the knees and we're pushing up into a palm to palm or neutral grip shoulder press. Let's get you to have a go at this one. Tonight we will
Front squat with a single dumbbell for this one. So you can see that I'm starting with my feet parallel at shoulder width and my knees are right over the top so they're not caving in or I'm not adding extra width to it. Um, I'm holding the dumbbell right in front of me just underneath my chin and it's staying there. It's staying stationary throughout the whole exercise. As I drop down, I'm going to try and get my elbows to my quadriceps which basically marks the perfect lower position in my squat and then I'm going to lift straight back up. Your turn to try this one.
Okay, I'm going to use the tip of the bench for some dumbbell hips thrusters for this one. So we're going to place the dumbbell on your hip. We're going to start right at the bottom, so with your butt almost touching the floor, and then we're going to lift into what looks like a glutes bridge using the bench for that additional range. Push all the way up and then release again. Your turn. Alternate bicep curls. So seated with nice, steady support, making sure your spine's nice and neutral. And we're going to start to pump out some alternate bicep curls. Now you want to make sure you minimize any movement in the elbow and we're rotating right up at the top, getting that 90 degrees rotation at the top of the biceps curl. Your turn to try this one.
overhead triceps extension with a single dumbbell. So seated on your bench with a neutral spine and you want to make sure your legs are wide enough apart to give you a nice sturdy base. Then we're going to go overhead and we're going to start to work these triceps extensions with your elbows tucked in by your ears and just lifting straight up. Your turn to try this one. Well done for getting through your workout today guys. Let's take a moment to stretch and cool our body back down now. Comment and let us know what you thought of today's workout and remember to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest workouts.